is the largest town in Ladakh, the Union Territory of India, which sits at an altitude of 3,500 plus meters above the sea level and shares border with the Western Tibet Sangari region. Thousands of Tibetans have made Leh their home for the last six decades and today it is considered one of the largest and thriving Tibetan settlements in India. Many of the first generations of Tibetans in exile from Western Tibet who made Leh Ladakh their home have come a long way of struggle and hardship to settle into this part of the country. Majority of the settlers are from a place called Rudok in Western Tibet. Out of the five I met, Four of them were from Rudok, Ngari region of Tibet. According to some historians, the name Rudok originated from Shangshung script, an ancient Tibetan culture and the kingdom of the original rulers of today's Western Tibet. Rudok was known as the Rudok Sangyezong and the people of Rudok were known as Mun. After the creation of Ngari Korsum kingdom by the king Songzen Gambo in the 7th century, Rudok was assigned to the court of Mariul, a territory surrounded by lakes which suggests that Rudok was part of it. Pangongcho, the major lake in the region dotted by several other lakes, extends from Rudok in the east to Changdang in the west. The biggest village in Rudok is Ravang village, which literally translated into treasure trove of gods. The people of Rudok have been doing business and small trade with their neighboring states and countries for years like people of Ladakh, Kunu, Zanskar, Chiti, Karsha and Nyungti. They exchange salt, wool and livestock as an asset with each other. <laughs> ตาดอนซาดิตรงชุดกิมีกุนตาดอนเนี่ยพยุคะลงลงวะลาตากิดิรงชุดกิกุนทาบาเซนลุกนิจักซุมยาเดระเตตุตาดอนเลยเนี่
it is said Chinese first arrived in Rudok in 1951 through East Turkestan. The army stayed for around eight years in the area and caused trouble to the Lamas and high officials of the region. Initially, they tried to act nice by helping the people with their farming, helped stitch tents of the nomads and tried to leave a good impression on the people, first without letting the central government know about their acts in the region. Around 1959, the Chinese arrested many prominent high officials and lamas from Ruto and some even got killed. Some were undertaken for struggle sessions under the pretext of Chinese government's democratic reform. The Chinese blamed the aristocratic families and high officials of taking advantage of the common peasant families of the region for decades and punished the officials on public trials. After years of socialist democratization and ill treatment of Tibetan, high lamas and common people in many parts of Tibet, the news of Tibetans leaving the country grew in numbers. In Rawang, Ruto, Pupu Wangchuk made his mind to leave his village in 1960 and cross the western Indo-Tibet border, but he was caught by the Chinese army and was sent back to Rawang. He was successful in his escape next spring. Similarly, Rinjin Tundup and his family and many of his neighbors could not bear the presence of Chinese army in their village. So they left their home into exile in 1962 via Demchok, western Indo-Tibet border. During the passage of their travel, they brought together hundreds of herds with them, but unfortunately many of the animals perished on the way. Initially, many of the people from Rawang stationed at the high altitude Henle nomadic camps in Ladakh. 
Sigmel uh Pajetundusupraji Tombak Masala Tomba Yarkidin 
c'era la chiesa, 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 c'era ก็ที่นี่มาเจมเตเอ่อหลิงจ่าเราจึงดูสุชาติเนี่ยดีนาสิจุลาตันเตตัดปากิดรอยติเกตัดลงปากกางราเชมปุติโซมีใครเชื่
Ani show show de zola ngazo ta chi di hija ngo so she ni chi lo kai chi chi ani chi de de ji ta ga na chi chi da li a de de kap kap la chi de de kar se ngo se tin de mi chi wo nang song ta di ngazo hija ngo so so de so re ta ngai ma ta na de sha da de de ji de ma to ta ya ma re tin de re ngai ma ta la da ko ra ngai ne da ta ta tin de la bi ni ta pe pe da da ka ngai chi bo re da de so da da chong ba ta de tong ra ba ji chi ni som ji ji re de du chi ke ya ma ta de ni ta de ni ko ra so la yi du che da chi se ne du so du du di pa ru la chi ke me chu ge de ni ro to ma re se ye ni de du de ni to da pa bong ji ma ta ke ke mi du ga de ni lam ga ro de ni ne le le chi ji che da chi se ne ba chi de ni de ni de ro so lam ga de ga na du re ma de du de ma de lam ga de di ya ma re de ni de de so ko ra chi ji de le le an chi de ni ja ro ja ga pa ge ma da la chi chi de de re ma ta be de du ge ya ma re an de ba da de 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 ni pe ta ta da ga ran zu ta da ga ra se ko re da Pasti songkang rawon one tane ke je songa ni susik ta ni susun ta sik ta ye je re tanga jab tang na ti ma to ke mi do ya ti nang la sik ta se ke 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 one ji song de so ina be song ya one ka wo si bi sik tin de ke ke si tan tan na ji tin de song ya ta tin de zu bo ta ka ke chu ne zu ya ma re de tu be la ta ko rang be ne tan ke bo do a ngan zu ta jab je rong ta me ke wo bi se tu se la ta be ti to ho ti jage ya ma to pe ne dang jo bo sha de ya ra o tin de zeng zo yi sha ma zo ba de ne dang ra wo ta ru du shi shi bi na tin de ra wo de la di ti ko ru di sha to ru ta da ga ta du ko ru ze ken shi ja ga chu do ka ru ba ko ru di ja ga ko le ne ta da ko ru ko ba Kumpa jago jago ada di jang, di jang aku di tengen tak, tengen tercik tak, ni la doain ko song, ni doain ko di di tercik tak, tercik jang tuh bang, tuh lapra tuh bang, tercik jang tuh jang ko tuh lapra di di tuh, tercik jang tuh bang. Ladakh Sonam Ling Tibetan Settlement was formally established in 1969 with people from Rutok. Tashigang, Rawang, Chagang, Lungchu, Tingze, Pongba Changba, Gerze, Derge, and Same Zamar who arrived in Ladakh around 1960 to 1963. The administrative office of Sonamling looks after Henle, Chushul, Sunto, and Chumur in Changtang Tibetan settlement and on the east village Lachang, Karna, Same, Kakshung, Koyul, where people lived at the altitude of 13,500 to 15,000 feet above the sea level, and most of them follow the semi-nomadic way of life. Today, the settlement covers 12 villages and 13 camps under its administrative body. Many escaped Tibet to Ladakh due to its closeness to Indian borders, and some escaped after the 1962 Indochina War. In 1960, a total of 430 Tibetan nomads from southern and northwest Tibet and 277 from Amdo arrived in Ladakh, followed by 1,357 in Changdang in 1961 and 1,567 in Changdang in 1962. Many Tibetans sought work as road builders under the Public Works Department at Indian Military Cantonment in the early 1960s to improve their living conditions. They moved from different places to make a living in the initial years of settlement in Ladakh. Kuli ne ta di ka tu koran kuli koran kuli la nambi nambi rere ti ni yo yo ba di nambi kyu ta ki koran yo ma di ta kuli ko chui ta di kuli la chui pu yo ma di ta komi ni yo ta ki dawa la nambi chui tu chui ma di yo ma di ta kuli ka cha chui ba ho ta ni ma mi ki kuli ka cha chui ba. Koron soya, mangang pizza. Then you have to sing a taxari. Then you have to do a legacy. You have to do a legacy. Like a dead top of it. Sing a whole child again. Sing a child again. Then the top of it. Put a child again. Then the top of it. Mommy can't get a legacy. Mommy can't get a legacy. 
mami ke kuli ta je ke mami khan tanna de yo amar mami nyung nyung thou da de ke mami ka chan ko nga di po ji le to ro ni na de te ne de rong lam ga te golden dolam di dor to te kuri sa da to ma kan thou re ma de ma ma di rong golden dolam ki gali ti ti dor da yo amar gali yo ro yo amar dor da yo amar ta bong ta 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 po ta tu do ma dor da yo amar Kangai cejo te tanda tu di saja di la malap ngai na so ta hal ni same di la di tu la kali cejo te di tu jong la ji ji se na pa ge po na le long me ta la tu ro ta ya ta te ta ta te tu yo te ya yo de kang ka kang ra ke sa te ni ti la rai jing kun po rai jing ho le le ko pe te na hal ni na so ta Lata le ra wu ching na zu ching tu ru ching len ting ko he he di tu ru ka ya ki tu ru me di le bi ya ching ni ma jian chu jia ching ai la ka le che yao de ka zhe di ju le cai song ma dao pei di ni ma kuo rang la le ni ka le de ka zhe cai ma song ji se na ma lo ni song ji yong ke ra jian yi cai pa de. Today, Sonam Ling Tibetan Settlement consists of school, settlement office, cooperative society, and small dispensary, a crèche, and kindergarten facility for camps that are far and provides accessibility to services. Most of the original families have small piece of agricultural land for their living. Due to lack of irrigation facilities, the agriculture practice is not sufficient to sustain the families on farming alone. Therefore, besides agriculture, most of the settlers are engaged in trading, restaurants, shopkeeping and seasonal woolen business. ก็จับตรงที่ฉันรู้เลยฉันมาตรงนี้ยิ่งวิมันวิมันก็เจอเจอเจอยิ่งตรงนั้นเรียนรู้ยากช่วยเลยแต่ยานนี้ก็จับก